What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a rebar set in our model. And then after that, I'm going to show you another way of viewing your rebar set in a 3D view. Because last time, usually is what we do for us to be able to see our rebar in 3D view is that we change the visual style to wireframe, right? Just like this one, I'm gonna select the structural framing here, our beam, and then I'm gonna select the section box, and then click outside, just zoom in. So usually what we do is, we change the visual style to wireframe, like this, right? For us to be able to see our rebar. But instead of doing this, there is another way of doing it nicely and properly. So what I'm going to do is from uh, section 2, let us create first a rebar set. Okay, so I'm going to select my rebar here. And then after that, instead of um, single layout on our rebar, uh, rebar set panel, so instead of single, so I'm going to select here uh, maximum spacing. And let's say for the spacing here, I'm going to make it uh, 6 inches and then enter. So as you can see, I now have uh, 51 uh, rebars here for my rebar set. And then I'm just going to click outside. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select again this uh beam and then go to the view selection box so this is now my beam so instead of changing your visual style to wireframe which is not that good when you view so i'm just gonna go back again to shaded view or uh, shaded colors and then after that let me just turn on the thin lines by the way because it's really thick here okay so it's now nicely uh, nice view here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, we are going to select all the rebar. So let me just turn on the tile view and let me close the floor plan and tile view it again. All right. Now here on the section view, I'm going to use a window selection and then after that, I'm going to filter it. Okay. And then here, I just want to select the structural rebar. Okay, so I want to select that. Select OK. Now that it's already selected, so from the properties, you look for the graphics uh, parameter. So there is this view visibility states. So you just need to select your edit. And then from the rebar element view, visibility states so let's look for the 3d view and you just check view unobscured and then the other one is view as solid and then that's it so once you select okay here by the way it says here show rebar element unobscured and or as a 3d or as a solid in 3d views in fine level of detail so I'll just select here OK and see what will happen. There you go. So you do not need to change your visual style to wireframe. So you can already set it to your shaded view and then just modify the view states uh, settings. Okay, so you can change that to fine. And there you go. So you can now see your uh, rebar without changing the visual style to wireframe. Okay, so again, so all you have to do is to go to your visibility states and then you just edit that. So make sure the 3D view here is checked when it comes to view unobscured option and view as solid option. Okay, so that's it for this exercise. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.